this is gonna be a big project it's gonna take us a couple days we are actually gonna be getting rid of decently large stream in our, our retail room and that is because we need more retail space we cannot get a dingo or an excavator in here so there is definitely a few stones in here that are gonna take all of us to lift these stones <laughs> Well guys, it's Jack with Team Aquascape. We are here starting another big project in our retail store. We had two projects this winter. One was a koi room. We got that knocked off the list and we have our last big project of the year over here. We are actually gonna be getting rid of decently large stream in our, our retail room. And for once, we are not putting anything back in there. And that is because we need more retail space in our area and this area, is the perfect spot for it. So we're gonna come through. We have a 6,000 biofalls that we're gonna actually be moving up closer to the pond. And then we are gonna be getting the stream that is connecting the biofalls to the existing pond. We're gonna be removing that out of the way. A few of the challenges that we have here is this big slab of stone that, oh, that's sitting right here. Unfortunately, we cannot get a dingo or an excavator in here. And that is how they built this pond. So there is definitely a few stones in here that are gonna take all of us to lift these stones. This one and that big one up there. Let me stand up there and show you how big this is. This rock may not look big, but it goes down pretty deep into the stream area. So it's gonna take a lot of us just to move this rock out of here. I think I have a plan on how it's gonna go, but I guess we're gonna see. Another thing that we have to address are these big trees behind me. These obviously have been in here for a while, and so they've jumped the pots, and we are gonna try to save them, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to. We definitely got a lot of work ahead of us. I was talking with Brian yesterday, and he honestly doesn't remember how this thing was built. Years past, we've used pallets to build up underneath this, so we're not using so much sand. Other cases, we've just filled it all in with sand. So we may have a lot of sand on our hands, which is a very fortunate it because we are going to be using it back in our sandbox. So another one of the big things that we want to do is open up the eyesight coming into the retail store. When you walk in, you kind of go along this uh, natural wood path and then it uh, greets you to this big circle patio that we have here. And right now these trees are so big that you can't see the rock pond outside. So by shrinking this wall in, and what I mean by that is right where these three points of interest come into play, we're going to go from right where I'm standing back towards the window on a straight line with a wall and that way it's going to shrink up this entire area allowing the new customers coming into the retail store to see the rock pond and another big thing that you guys might be wondering is we have turtles and fish inside the pond and with this it's not going to be off for a couple hours it's unfortunately going to be off for a couple days so the one thing that we're going to do to keep the filter going inside of it and make sure that those fish are nice and healthy is we're going to set up a nice little 2500 biofalls sitting off to the edge of the pond with the hose going into the skimmer box, which is just gonna allow some more filtration and keep the pond nice and clean. So guys, this is gonna be a big project. It's gonna take us a couple days to kind of get everything finished up and buttoned up, up in here, but it's gonna be a huge transformation. I'm really looking forward to the outcome of how this is gonna look. So the old entrance to this place, there used to be a glass floor right there and Koi would swim underneath this glass floor. So there is a 4,000 gallon pit underneath the deck right there. I don't remember how we constructed the wood to go over the top, but it's more of a, just a bridge meant to support people. There's no way it's meant to support that 2,000 pound rock. Fingers crossed, here we go. <laughs> on, you should do on three. Well, it looks a little bit different than last time we checked in. We got the trees out, some of the sand out, some of the wall out, and we even got the first rock out. Definitely went a little better than I thought it was gonna be. Had a little bit of a hiccup, but it was uh, nice and smooth getting it out of here. Fingers crossed, that's how the rest of them were gonna go. I know that rock was the biggest rock that we had out here. Next biggest rock 
is gonna be the one right behind Tyler. That one's just gonna be a bulky rock and it's just gonna take all of us to kind of heave hold it up over the wall onto the pallet jack and out through the front doors. Give him an eight. That was pretty good, right? No, I'll give him a, I'll give him a six and a half. They got a nine once I gave him some assistance. No roots to it. It's an aqua mystery. How does something that big only have that amount of root system on it? It makes zero sense. Look at that! All right, we started day two. We made phenomenal progress yesterday, so our goal today is get rid of the sand, get rid of that wall, and possibly start getting our, our curve ready for the wall, and possibly setting our first course. We don't know yet, so I guess stay tuned and see what we have in store. A majority of the sand are uh, away from the bio falls, so the next thing is we're gonna cut this pipe because we don't need all this pipe going back this way, but we're just gonna cut it, get the bio falls out of here for now, and then continue on with the sand. It's been so long since we've seen it like this. The amount of sunlight that comes in is fantastic. Um, I like that people, when they come in, it's really gonna look like a massive change because they're gonna see so much of our signature pond out here. More importantly, you gotta remember why we're doing it. We're doing it to open up more retail floor space, which we're getting. So I think the guys did awesome. They got this thing ripped down in basically a day. And uh, now we're gonna go back and put it back together. Here we go. Right now we got our mortar slick down. We are getting ready to set our biofalls, which is sitting right here. It's gonna sit just next to this rock that you can see just on the edge here. We're trying to get it as close as possible into our pooling area here to give us enough room between the back of this biofalls and the back of our wall to add some plants. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna remove these grommets and we're gonna put some new, new hardware in and then we are gonna get this thing plumbed up, set and ready to go. And we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to start on this wall, but we are gonna be plenty busy on getting this guy set and uh, level and ready to go. Come 
coming to a close on finally getting the wall going. So we got our concrete poured yesterday, we got the corners picked up, we got all the supplies here, now we are finally setting our walls. We got our uh, corner tied in, and now we're just gonna make sure that we're running a nice straight line all the way uh, to behind the camera, and to continue on into our slight little curve, and then tie back into that other wall back on the other side. You can see there's only a few of us that are doing this project, and that's just because we don't need everyone all at once, especially for what we're doing right now. To my right, you can see Forrest and Steve are actually fixing the urn that is sitting out front that pipe was just not straight and it was kind of making a swirl, swirling effect. It just didn't look nice. So I had those guys take advantage of the nice weather today, go out in the pond and make sure that that was nice and straight so that way it'll be a nice uh, flow off, evenly off the urn. The other guys are out in the parking lot just outside the retail store doors and they are grinding down these bricks because when we tore apart this wall, there was some, there was some cloth that they used to glue everything together and that was just super small residual that was left on the bricks. So they're going out there grinding them down and I can have a nice clean brick to work with to finish this wall. the wall 95 percent done we had to stop to a certain point we gotta let some mortar uh, dry up a little bit but that'll be uh, waiting for next week monday josh is going to be taking the guys and they're going to be replacing a bunch of lights in the retail store and so it's going to take a lot of time just kind of pulling stuff apart fishing the lights through and getting everything buttoned back up so it's probably going to take the majority of monday and then tuesday we're going to pick back up uh with this wall and finish this on tuesday all right, so now I got the clown show over here. We got Levi and Josh. Right now what we're doing is we're going through our lights. We noticed that there was a few lights out inside the spool bowl to my left. So Levi's gonna go through, kind of clean up this uh, nest of wires, go through, see if anything that doesn't need to be there can get pulled out and we can kind of consolidate that area and fix these lights and get these going. Can you believe I need sunglasses just to work inside the retail store? When we left off, we had to finish off with this corner over here, letting it dry. It's been a couple days, so we're gonna come through here. The guys are already started to finish up the bottom course and to continue on all the way up and finish off this wall. So our next step is gonna be backfilling our sand around the biofalls and then getting our capstone on, and then we can start landscaping. Right now, Levi and Brad are working on our flooring. So we came in here and we uh, marked our radius for our uh, circle patio. We got that done this morning, thanks to good old Levi. 
right now they're going through and they're putting down these pucks the entire retail store is built up on these little pucks you can see they're going through we're gonna lay those down get the carpet back on and then that way this project can be finished for the academy guests coming in next week so one thing after another after another there's always an excitement that's going on around here at aqualand so i'm really looking forward to seeing um what happens in this area i know it should be done hopefully by the end of today Aquascape Pawn Shop. I'm here to show you the amazing area that they just opened up for us in the retail store. If you see over here, we have a great view now of our signature pond. It is amazing. At first, we were going to utilize the space for more products, but once it's been open, it brings on so many lights and it's just so pretty. We're not going to utilize it now because of the site. However, I do still have an area right here I'm going to utilize for more merchandise. I'm super excited to show you later, guys. Well, this concludes the end of the video. It was a very fun project. I was very happy how everything turned out. Please tell me in the comment section what you guys enjoyed about this uh, video. Did you guys like how close we brought the biofalls? Did you guys like how much space it brought up? Or did you guys like the view? But please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all our other videos that we have out on the YouTube channel. And please stay tuned for more videos to come because it is getting very nice out here in, uh, in Chicago. And you know what that means. We can start building again. Oh, 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 oh,